Hey everyone, welcome to another interesting video tutorial on how to install MySQL Server on your Windows system. So in this session, uh, we'll go through the complete installation process of MySQL Workbench as well as MySQL Shell, which is basically a command line used to create tables with the help of SQL language. So without any further delay, let's get started. But before we begin, make sure you have a good internet connection so that at any point you won't find any issue or difficulty with the installation process. So let's go ahead and start with the installation. Firstly, go to Google and type MySQL. You'll find MySQL official website page on the search result. Click on that. Once you reach their official website page, uh, you'll find download section. Click on that. Now scroll down a bit and you'll find MySQL community GPL downloads. Click on that link. Now you'll find various options for downloads such as various uh, repositories, uh, MySQL shell, MySQL workbench, etc. But since we are installing it for the first time on our Windows system and we are only concerned with the MySQL workbench and shell, uh, we'll go with MySQL installer for Windows. Click on that link. Now you'll find two options for download. Uh, the first one is Windows 86 32 bit MSI installer. It is showing here 32 bit, but it will uh, work for 62 bit systems as well. So don't worry. And you can choose either of the two and I'm going with the first one. Click on download. Now you'll find this page where you'll have a uh, login and sign up uh, for the Oracle account. For time being, just ignore that and click on no thanks to start my download. Save it on your system. Once it's downloaded, uh, open the file. Give all the necessary permissions. Now you'll find a setup page uh, where you'll have different options uh, such as developer, server, client, full and custom. Uh, we'll choose custom because we want uh, MySQL Workbench and MySQL Shell. So click on next. Now we have to select the products which we want to install on in our system. Uh, you can find MySQL Server, click on that and expand it. You'll find MySQL Server 8.0, click on that. You'll find the latest version of it, uh, click on that and uh, select the arrow and send it to the other side. Now scroll down a bit and uh, you'll find applications. Click on that. You can see MySQL Workbench. Expand it and you'll find the latest version of it as well. Click on that and uh, click on the arrow and send it to the other side. Scroll down a bit and you'll find MySQL shell as well. Click on that. Expand it. Select the latest version. Click the arrow and send it to the other side. Now we are good to go and uh, click on next. Now it will ask for uh, the path where you want to install all these files. Uh, we are saving this on our C drive. Uh, just check all the necessary paths and uh, click on next. Now all the three products are uh, ready to download. Click on execute. Again, uh, now depending upon your internet speed, this may take a while. So don't worry, just sit back and uh, wait for it to get downloaded. You can see all the three are successfully downloaded. Uh, click on next. Now we need to install all the three products. Click on execute. So you can do the installation process simultaneously with me or uh, just take a note of it and perform it later as well on your PCs and laptop. Uh, this might take a while. So we'll wait for it to get installed. As you can see, all the three of them are successfully installed. Click on next. Click on next again. Now you'll find the server configuration type. Uh, you'll find different port number and protocol port. Just leave as it is because it is set by default by the system. Click on next. Now we'll have the authentication method. You'll be provided with two options. Uh, we'll choose the recommended one, which is given by the system. Click on next again. Now we have to set a root password. Uh, so by the way, guys, the root is basically the a default user, which will have who will have the access to all the files and programs. So enter a password of your own choice. And make sure you take a note of it because uh, we'll have to use it at a later stage. And also while logging into the MySQL server, you will use the same password. So click on check.
So as you can see, there's a blue tick mark, which means it's verified. Uh, so you can go ahead, click on next. Now you'll find the Windows service, which is the standard system account. Choose that and click next. Now you have to apply all the uh, configuration for the system files. Uh, for that, just click on execute. And the system will uh, automatically con configure itself. So this might take a while, so we'll wait for it to complete. Uh, as you can see, uh, the all the files are successfully configured. Uh, click on finish. Click on next. So once you uh, click on finish, uh, MySQL Workbench and MySQL Shell will automatically launch. So Workbench and Shell are started in the background. Uh, as you can see, there's a local instant MySQL 80. Click on that. Now it will ask you to enter the password which you have set earlier. Click on that. So that's it guys. We have successfully installed MySQL Workbench on our system. But uh, before you get started, there's another little process that we are, with, that we are uh, left behind with. Uh, now you have to connect all the files and packages to the server before you start working on the tables. So for that, we need to locate where the, where the MySQL files are stored. For that, we'll go to File Manager. Since we have saved the uh, files on local disk D, local disk C, uh, click on C drive, go to Program Files, click on MySQL, open MySQL Server 8.0, click on Bin. Now, these are all the files and packages that you have to connect to the server. For that, uh, double click on uh, location path, copy the whole address and open command prompt. On the command prompt, you will have to type cd that is the current directory and uh, paste the address that you have copied earlier and click enter. Now type mysql space my u root minus p. Here minus u is the user, which is the root user which we have taken. Minus p is the password. Click on enter. Now it will ask you to enter the password that you have set earlier. Type the same. So if you find uh, what you are seeing in my system, that is Oracle is registered trademark of Oracle Corporation and all this thing. That means you have uh, successfully downloaded and installed all the files and uh, packages into the MySQL server and you are good to go and start working on your tables right away. That's all for today's session everyone. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any queries regarding the whole installation process or if you are stuck at any stage while installing MySQL server on your system, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will guide you and help with all your queries at the earliest. Make sure you leave us a like and subscribe to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content videos. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.